Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to discuss about anterior segment optical coherence tomography that is ASOCT. ASOCT uses interferometry to provide cross-sectional images of cornea and anterior segment. ASOCT is similar to posterior segment OCT, although longer wavelength light sources are commonly used in ASOCT. That is, in ASOCT, we use wavelength of 1310 nanometer, whereas for posterior segment OCT, we use wavelength of 800 nanometer. This picture shows ASOCT image of a normal eye. Coming to the technology in ASOCT, time domain OCT devices are commonly used. Examples include Visante by Zs. Spectral domain OCT devices with anterior segment modules like RTView, OptoView, and Spectralis provide greatly increased image acquisition speed for greater coverage of corneal surface and improved resolution. Slit plumb adapted OCT devices include the SL Scan 1 by Topcon and SL OCT by Heidelberg. This picture shows Visante, which is an ASOCT device. Coming to the indications for ASOCT, ASOCT can be used for direct visualization of anterior chamber angle for assessment of angle closure glaucoma and plateau iris configuration. This picture shows iridocorneal opposition in a case of angle closure glaucoma. ASOCT can be used for measurement of relative corneal epithelial thickness and depth of anterior stromal scars. It is useful in post-operative assessment of lamellar corneal graft positioning and thickness. It is useful in assessment of post lasic flap thickness. It is used for measurement of anterior chamber depth prior to insertion of fecic IOLs and it is useful in imaging of glaucoma filtering blips. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments section. For more such videos, please check out my playlists. Thank you.